I've just updated my gold reversal trading system and I want to explicitly show you the easy language code for the exits to separate long and short trades when doing stop losses and profit targets. So here is the original code for stop losses. There's nothing proprietary about this. This is very simple. You have set stop loss statements in TradeStation, set profit target statements in TradeStation. And those work from the time you enter the trade on the current bar. And you just say if the stop loss, which means if it's true, then you use the stop loss amount. And if profit target, then set profit target amount. And that's on a per contract basis because you use a statement. So if you increase the number of contracts in your strategy, you don't have to change the stop loss and profit target amount. So, for example, if you had two contracts, you wouldn't all of a sudden change your stop loss to 2,000 and your profit target to 2,400. It would scale based on the number of contracts. So the so how do you separate these into long and short setups? I'm going to show you that next. Again, there's nothing proprietary about that. And so here is what the code looks like when you, when you um, set it up for long and short trades. So let's ignore the inputs for now and go straight to this. We still use a set stop contract. Now we have to explicitly say if the market position is equal to 1, which is long, or minus one, which is short. And so you just add that to your statements. If market position is equal to one and set and stop loss long, then set stop loss, stop loss amount long. You might have a different amount. And then if set stop loss short, then set stop loss, stop loss amount short. Same thing for profit target, long, short. And then you have that. But why do I have this here? First bar SL and first bar PT if market position is equal to zero because TradeStation doesn't know if you enter a trade right when you enter a trade on the very first bar the market position does not register until the next bar so the market since the market position doesn't register until the next bar you have to have a stop loss and profit target for the bar of entry so if your market position is equal to zero um, then these are your stop losses so you, you won't actually be zero on the first bar you'll actually have a position on that first bar it just won't see it and then after that so in this gold reversal, Fibonacci gold reversal strategy, we're keeping the, um, the long and short stop losses the same as the original. We're not di dis differentiating. We're not using different stop losses and profit targets for longs and shorts. So we have the first bar stop loss, 1,000. First bar profit target, 1,200. Stop loss long, 1,000. Stop loss short, 1,000. Profit target long, 1,200. Uh, profit target short, 1,200. But this is set up so that it could be customized or used at a future date because sometimes longs and short trade differently. So I wanted to share this easy language code with you. Again, this is not really proprietary. It's just a methodology um, to help you understand what the inputs mean, to see the statements, so you have a better idea of how to manage your trading systems and use uh, separate longs and shorts if you desire to do that.